Hello everybody, um, this is Dookie Cookie Monster. Uh, just giving a quick update in terms of uh, my computer status. Um, things have been upgraded. Well, two, two key things here. Um, I'll, I'll get to those, but for, for now, let's uh, focus on the things on my desk, which is pretty much the same since uh, the last video here. Um, the monitor being a Dell UltraSharp 24 uh, with its beautiful IPS um, uh, system. So anywhere in the room, it won't glare or you won't see any of that uh, fuzziness with, some, with the other monitors too. So notice how it doesn't even uh, have that, um, what's it called? You know how it, how it does a screen refresh, that line that goes up and down. Uh, you can't see that with this monitor here. So it's really good quality. Uh, on the sides, you'll see the Bose uh, Companion 5 Series. Um, it's actually a 5.1 speaker system, um, multimedia channel. Uh, the two, there's only two front speakers on the desk, but each of those speakers has two, uh, two speakers. So I guess uh, that's where the 5.1 comes in. The woofer being on the bottom, below the desk, but I won't get into that because I didn't last time. Uh, the keyboard being a G19 um, from Logitech has uh, the little uh, LCD monitor in the front. Uh, you can toggle on and off in terms of what you'd like to see, say, for example, during gameplay. Um, but, you know, for the time being, when I'm not doing anything, I just have it on RSS feeder. So I can see my news. I'm still waiting for the news where zombies break out and I can go have some fun. Uh, my choice of mouse is actually a trackball with the ball. I don't like playing with balls other than that. Uh, so just to make that clear. Uh, and then I also use headphones too uh, when I game late at night. Uh, you can actually see that the headphones are actually plugged into the Bose, um, I guess, center console. If that's what you want to call it. So once it's orange, basically uh, all sound goes or diverts to uh, the headphones. So nothing else. If you actually have it unjacked, uh, go back there. That orange color turns green and then uh, beautiful music plays out of those speakers. So. That's good quality there. Now let's get to uh, the front before we take a look inside the panel here. I know it's kind of dark, but I have a flashlight ready. Okay, here we go. So in the front, it's pretty much the same too. Uh, you got the NZXT uh, dual fan controller. So displays the time. Yeah, it's kind of late, but my hours have been kind of weird. Uh, at work, I do Australia and Canada, so. Um, I do have weird hours, so right now this is kind of normal for me. Um, mm, Got to see what's wrong with that second second fan, but I'll get to that later. But other than that, I mean, it does a monitor, uh, monitored, um, I guess, uh, temperature control uh, within the case. Um, also has an alarm system, so if it exceeds uh, X percentage or if it uh, detects any kind of um, volatile climate <laughs> within the uh, within the case, then it'll beep. So that beep's kind of annoying. So you actually want to get that resolved, and it's also a good thing to know. Uh, up top, uh, I just got two Sony OptiArx uh, CD DVD uh, burners. I'm not going the Blu-ray route because um, I still don't see the value in it. I mean. It can be downloaded. The quality is beautiful, but I, I think uh, just having lossless rips would be easier to manage than actually having disc. I'm, I'm not a big fan of disc. Okay, uh, the middle compartment right here. Uh, this is the front display uh, for the uh, Creative Slash Sound Blaster X5 Fatality Champion Series. Uh, this is a sound card, and uh, you can do multiple things here. Um, I actually use the front port when I do. Um, uh, video editing, so when I have to do sound editing and so forth and things like that. Um, and then in terms of the top, where is it? Oops. Right here. You can see uh, multiple USB, uh, actually has USB 3 and uh, USB 2 um, access, so I mean, I do a lot of my uh, externals uh, through this area right here. Okay, now, let's kill the lights here. Now going inside, okay, just to give you an idea, I wonder if you could see the visual changes in here. Um, but uh, yeah, actually you could, you could, you'd be able to. But this is uh, the side uh, from my chair, uh, the view from the side, uh, where you can actually just see the internals and <laughs> see everything working well. Uh, let me do the one-handed pop again, one sec. Again, this is the, oh, forgot to mention, this case is the Corsair 800D, uh, 
um, obsidian. I think I got it right this time. So this is a full tower case and <laughs> you have a lot of space, has great, great um, airflow. So I have my intake on the top. Oh no, no, I actually have it, yeah, intaking in and exhausting on the bottom. But I'll get into what's what. So the one-handed pop. Done. So I'm not sure if you can hear it, but um, that's the extent of all the fans in here. So, I mean, in terms of mentioning of the fans, I have uh, three 120 millimeters uh, Gleed Solutions on the top. Uh, those are really high quality fans. I, I really like them. I'm really happy about purchasing those. Um, also happy about picking up the 140s too. Uh, the 140s though are Aero Cools, uh, Aero Cool Shark ones. Those are 140, you got the two here. And you got the third there. And now you have the fourth there in the rear. Now, you're like, what the heck? What happened to the Corsair H70? I actually took out the uh, the hydro cooler. So I removed that only reason because I got this. Uh, this is an EVGA 590 and um, it's pretty much top of the line for video cards at the moment. I know people will say like, uh, no, why don't you do a 570 SLI or a, a 580 SLI, but no, I actually just want things simple. One card, dual GPUs, um, it's the equivalent of uh, two 580s, but um, I, <laughs> I think having two GPUs under one roof makes it more sleeker within the case, as well as um, not dealing having to deal with SLI, um, and you also still have that upgrade if you ever want to go SLI on the 590. <laughs> Good God, what kind of game would that need? But um, that's sad. So, anyways, the reason why I got this this is a Zalman. Um, well, I just had it. Z? No, 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 I'm sorry. It's a Zalman CNPS uh, 9900 Max. So, um, has black pearl, um, like black pearl painted and uh is it painted or is it just it plated? i'm sorry the word is plated that i'm looking for uh plated heat sink um and then in the in, in the middle of that is actually a, a 135 millimeter fan and that actually has a blue led so it really complements uh uh the color scheme um theme i guess uh within the computer so uh so basically i didn't want any any possibility even though i trust corsair but it's still i didn't want any possibility of an h70 you know just having a eroded uh, rubber grommet with a leaky faucet and dropping down on the e EVGA uh, 590 so um, yeah really happy about these two new additions uh, actually a 30 if you want to count that fan in the back but um, everything's pretty much the same in here uh, the motherboard is still an MSI Big Bang um, X58 so um, this supposedly has SATA 3 uh, capabilities but I have yet still to make that work uh, right here with the, the little fan right here though that's actually a, the, the fan for the memory that comes with the Corsair uh, triple channel kit uh, the the what's it called the the memory is uh, the Corsair GT Dominator uh, three three sticks of four gig oh no what is it four gig sticks and there's three of them so <laughs> that's a better better way of saying it 2000 megahertz and um, I think the PC PCS is like 16,000 I believe but I mean, I'm not sure exactly what it did, but I mean, that triple channel kit costs like 350, 400, something like that. So, um, I mean, I, I still have three additional slots too, so it can actually feasibly go 24 gigs total, but right now, I'll just in terms of my usage, I, I just don't need it yet. Uh, right now, I'm quite happy. Um, below the video card, the EVGA 590, is uh, the Asin X, Asin X Blitzstorm. Um, it fits into a PCI slot, but it doesn't actually, you know, use any kind of energy out of the MOBO. Well, other than the power, but it doesn't actually use the PCI slot. That's what I mean. It has like a, a plastic appendage that sticks in it, but it really doesn't do anything that in, in terms of that MOBO side. Um, so that just cools that down, and then here's a. The sound card for the uh, the Sound Blaster Creative uh, X5 Fatality. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, mention of the power. The power is uh, still the same. Uh, it's the Corsair 
850 watt. So um, I think for the EVGA 590, uh, all you needed was uh, at least 700, but still. 850 is still good. Still thinking about later down the road, probably going into a higher wattage uh, just to support everything here. Um, in terms of what's in the machine, too, too, powering it, or in terms of the heart or the brain of it, I guess. Um, we have the system drive. Well, actually, I guess maybe come back over here, it'd be easier. You have hot swappable drives here, so um, I know on the first lot um, I have a crucial C300 um, 256 gig um, SSD. So that's my system partition, that's where I have uh, my Windows running from, my Windows 7 64-bit edition running off of, uh, where I run Steam off of all my applications and games, so the applications really load and run fast. Uh, below it we have uh, three other hot swappable drives. I run Three, no, four? I think, no, 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 five total? Well, let me double check here. It's either four or five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it is. I run five other, because I didn't know if I had anything swapped out yet, but five other um, 1.5 um, Western Digital Green Caviar um, internal drives in there. And as you can see, if you get closer, majority of my drives is actually dedicated to fraps. So I do, you know, as you can see from the other videos, like uh, the Left 4 Dead 2 um, video gameplays, um, Diablo 3 beta testing. Uh, haven't really started StarCraft 2, but I actually have uh, like a mountain of replays to do <laughs> for you. Not, not of me playing, I actually fucking suck, but. Uh, I have other buddies who have sent me replays that I want to do a quick commentary, but probably a spoof commentary, like uh, <laughs> not not real because I I, sh I actually still don't even know what the unit names are. But um, in terms of gameplay, these guys are good. They're like in the master leagues, um, or at least high diving is like number one or second place up there. But uh, other than that, this is pretty much the update. So again, uh, swapped out the H70, uh, went with the normal heat sink that glows blue. So. <laughs> there um, and swapped out the Gigabyte GTX uh, 260 Super Overclock video card that I had before um, and put in the EVGA 590 and again the EVGA 590 I mean that has a list price of pretty much like 750 so it's, it's top of the line um, and it's the equivalent again of two, uh, two 580 cards again it's dual GPU so it's pretty much two, two 580s uh, other than that uh, in terms of what I have planned for the future for this case, uh, maybe swap out the the power to, to have increased wattage support there, just in case. Um, you know, I even thought about actually uh, swapping out the mobile too, uh, going to the P67 series and then going like an i7-2600 for the chip. But right now, I th I'm really content. I, I can't foresee anything that I need to upgrade right now. There's no immediate need, so... This will probably be uh, the last, I guess, comp specs video in a long time, unless something changes. But other than that, this is what I pretty much live on, and uh, I think I'm living well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.